Okay, so I wanted to show you this FET simulation. CU actually puts out quite a lot of different simulations, so check them out. It's nice to see animations of the concepts instead of just kind of a picture in a book. So this simulation is called The Moving Man, and it creates position velocity and acceleration graphs for velocities and accelerations that you plug in here. So this will just um, kind of solidify how those graphs are related. Instead of going to introduction, go ahead and click on charts. And you see you have one chart here for position, one for velocity, one for acceleration. And you can open the simulation up, play around with it, and there's going to be a short D2L quiz that has you identify what's happening at different points on this graph. So let's say I start my guy out at a position of negative 10. I'm just typing numbers in here. And I'll give him an initial velocity of 9.9 .9 and have a negative 2.5 meter per second squared acceleration. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to hit minus here so that you cannot see the velocity graph. And after looking at position and acceleration graph, I want to see if you can figure out what, the, what that velocity would be doing. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to hit play. So here he goes. Is he going to hit the wall? Oh, I said it just right so he wouldn't hit the wall. And crash. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead for the playback. Considering what just happened here, <coughs> the entire way through, we had a constant acceleration of negative 2.5. But we started with a velocity of 10. Right? So that positive velocity, the, this negative acceleration is slowing it down, slowing it down, slowing it down and then speeding it up in the opposite direction. So it's slowing down and speeding up even though the acceleration is constant. So considering these two graphs, would you be able to sketch what the velocity graph looks like? Remember, acceleration is the slope of your velocity. So here I go. I'm going to open up my velocity graph. Were you able to figure that out? The slope is zero, velocity is zero. Slope is positive, velocity is positive. Slope is getting smaller and smaller, velocity is getting smaller and smaller. And here the slope is negative. This is where he had turned around and is now traveling in the opposite direction. So here's we have a negative velocity. But you notice through the whole process of slowing down to a stop, and speeding up, even though we're slowing down and speeding up, the slope of this curve is constant and negative the whole way through. So we have a constant negative acceleration the entire way through. So acceleration is not slowing down and speeding up. It's not change in speed. It is change in velocity. And the best way to think of acceleration is not like you think of it in your car, speeding and slowing down your car. That's not acceleration. Think of F equals MA, Newton's laws. So acceleration is the unbalanced forces acting on the system. So if I play this again, imagine a negative force, negative acceleration, a negative wind. So if the wind was blowing at this guy to the left, just blowing, 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 blowing. Just constantly blowing. So it slows him down and now it speeds him up. But the whole way through, that wind is blowing from the same direction the entire way through, right? So that negative force is constant even though it causes him to slow down to a stop and then speed up in the negative direction. Okay, so open up this simulation, play around with it, and then try out that D2L quiz and see if you can get a real familiar with these three graphs and what's happening in them.